Dear friends, I'm bringing you this video regarding some current issues with the channel uh, and there are some forces that are that are at work to bring the channel down. So this is going to be a very raw video. There's not going to be any editing. I might buckle my words. I think I already, I've already done that. So guys, welcome to Pixel Cherry Ninja channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm someone that covers FPGA gaming. I, I, I have been known to be very critical at times um, and that sometimes upsets people. So just to give you a little bit of background, I won't name uh, the people or anyone involved, but what happened was I was uh, hit uh, on the 1st of October with a couple of copyright strikes. They were fake copyright strikes. Now, they were done out of malice due to disagreements I've had with an individual or I've covered uh, stuff that this individual has done, projects that is behind time. I've spoken about some work that they've done regarding uh, their recent implementation of DRM. Um, I've mentioned like their public behavior and their them actually lashing out at other people within the FPJ gaming space and how it wasn't actually good for their upcoming projects work. And they didn't like that. So they hit me with two fake copyright strikes. They even boasted in public about it saying that, yes, you know, they're, they're quite happy to give me fake copyright strikes in order to take the, cha uh, the channel down. Now I have reported these via YouTube. Uh, it's been all over social media. You know who the guys are if you follow FPGA gaming, even in the slightly. Uh, I'm pretty sure public opinion is well, well towards me with, with just a vast minority that maybe back them. Uh, but while these two copyright strikes were out, one of the representatives from this group reached out to me and said, look, the guys uh, will or can remove these fake strikes. So I'm, I'm kind of being blackmailed here. I'm being held to ransom, but these can go. Um, but in order to let them go, uh, for example, they need some conditions. So what they said was they, they gave me two can, uh, copyright strikes. I countered those copyright strikes. And then the, the threat that I got was, is they won't take district court action. So I was like, okay, you know what? If we can handle this like grownups and get through it, then cool, I'm 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 jiggy with it. Let's let's see what you've got. So then what they what the the the, the conditions I've got, uh, I got five points. One of them was not to name any members of this organization. So to that, I kind of replied, I said, look, if the names are public and I'm covering them, if you use your Christian name or your name given to you by your parents all over your social media profile, that's, then that name is in the public realm. If you hide behind a, a pseudonym, a, a screen name uh, like I do, then I will use the screen name. I will never use a name. Uh, even if I know your name in real life, I won't use it if you don't use that name online. That's just not right. Uh, then I also got told I can't cover this organization's software releases as well as an upcoming project, hardware project that is like a year, a year, almost a year behind. Uh, well, it was announced a year ago and it was supposed to be out like at the beginning of the year. We're approaching the end of the year and there's no sign of it. In fact, it just seems to be all over the place. Um, then uh, the uh, point number four was not to post images of uh, of their patron, so nothing behind the paywall. I agreed to that. I was like, cool, like I, I get that. I I I agree to that point. That's a valid point. And then the other one was remove any existing videos that don't comply with the above. So I was like, okay, look, I've I've removed all your videos for now, uh, at least you know the ones that the ones that kind of talk negative about you. So the guys don't want anything negative about them. Even if they are being negative, they just don't want it reported. And I'll report it sometimes. So um, then I was told stuff like, you know, what I don't actually realize is every time I do a video and I say, you know, your project is running late, uh, you guys are acting, well, you're not acting very nice and you're acting very hostile towards other people. Apparently, like viewers of the channel, you guys out there, start threatening them with violence and I just don't get that. I, I just, I'm calling BS on that guys. If they have got threats of violence, it's not come from me or any of my viewers. It's probably come down to something else that these guys are involved in. But you know, I, I really didn't like that. Uh, you can watch any of my videos, go on my discord, go over on Twitter, wherever you go. I've never even hinted at anything that would lead towards violence. I'm strictly against that. Hey man, I'm a, I'm a family guy. It's not what I'm about. So I kind of went with my counter conditions and they said, okay, yep, um, the person will accept these, but they want to lawyer up and they want to sign a legal document. I was like, whoa, hold on. 
I'm not signing any legal document with you guys. This document favors you. I'm doing this out of goodwill. You've given me fake copyright strikes and you're holding me to ransom now. You want me to sign a document. You want to silence me so I can never speak about you guys. So when you do anything negative or you're behind on your timeline, I can't report it. You're, you're, you're trying to silence me. I don't know if the right word is if you're trying to coerce me into signing this document just via blackmail. It's either like, I will remove these or, you know, we're going to false copyright strike you and uh, eventually take down your channel. And this is very, very, it's stressful. I mean, I'm okay with dealing with stress. Look, bottom line is, guys, I love the channel. I love the stuff that I do. I don't get a lot of money out of it. I really don't. If it was to go and I had to restart from scratch, then you know what? If that if that comes, so be it. You know, I can't bow down to bullies. I can't bow down to that harassment, the bullying that I'm getting, and the stalking. And they've even involved family members of mine, which I will uh, which I will go into just shortly. So and that's all I heard. Uh, I didn't get a response response back or anything. So a few days pass, and a mutual friend of uh, the party that I'm speaking about, a party that I'm in disagreement with, of theirs and ours, or shall I say a mu mutual acquaintance, they said, look, there is a way of making peace. Are you interested? And I was like, well, absolutely. If we can deal with this in a decent way, absolutely I will. So there was going to be an agreement, not via a lawyer, via this a mediator in between. And, and the document came, and I said, look, this heavily favors them. Uh, this is me, this is against me and effectively one individual from an organization, from a release group and an upcoming project. I was like, okay, why is every member added to it? Why is it if they get another member, I have to sign all to this? This isn't right. So it went for like three or four different amendments before I was like, okay, I still feel this favors the other party. But in order to kind of bring the peace and go with the peace, I'll, I'll go with this. I'll, I'll, I'll agree to it and I'll sign it. So I said, put it together and send it to me. Now, this was late at night here for me. It was like approaching 10 o'clock. So I said, look, I'll, I'm going to go to sleep. So we'll look at it in the morning. So in the morning, I get some messages saying, what's your email? The next message I get, oh, I found your email. Check your email. The other party, they've already signed the document. Now we just need you to sign it. So I went and I went looking for this document. When I went looking for this document, I couldn't find it. So what do you do when you can't find an email? Well, you go into your spam folder. I went to my spam folder and guys, guess what? The guy that was uh, behind the fake copyright strikes had actually sent me a, a court summons, a court summons from his lawyer. I, I was willing to overlook this. I thought, okay, this was sent like three days ago. We're going to get an agreement going. But when I read the court summons, it had my wife's name in it. It had my wife's name. Imagine you do, you're do you doing a YouTube channel covering video games. You, you have conflicting views with developers. You know, they're trying to shut down your channel. But, but then they go. They take time out of their day to find who find out who I am, find out my name, my address, my wife's name. For all I know, they've got my children's names. So, and they add my wife's name to this legal document. The legal document now has my wife's name. And I'm like, why the heck would you bring my wife's name in there? Now, I kept this from my wife for the most part. And at that point, I thought they've crossed the line. I can't in my right mind sign an agreement. So I gave a set of terms which were like, you want either series of tweets deleted. I want the copyright strikes gone. Remove the copyright strikes. I'll uh, delete the tweets. And I won't make a YouTube video discussing all of this, all of this and all of your behavior, all of your coercion, your blackmailing. You're trying to, trying to silence me by holding me to ransom with these fake copyright strikes. Now that that went right. So I said, look, I won't make a I won't make a video detailing this. I'll take off the tweets you want, but we're not signing anything. This is how it's done. It's either this way or the highway. And you know what? They actually chose the highway. So this document was just really, really disturbing. So I didn't tell my wife. I thought, you know what? I don't want to tell her, right? Because essentially like I'm just being stalked like there's no other way of looking at it. I'm, I'm thinking about it I'm being stalked my family's being stalked now for all I know this person here or this organization here could come after me or my family they've why would you put my wife's name in a a cease and desist demand for immediate compliance someone sent from your lawyer and include my wife's name in there unless you're even trying to show that we know who you are we know where you live we know who your wife is. Like that is just below the line. Guys, let me know down below in the comments. Is that crossing a line? Because to me, your family is your family, man. 
I can have beef with you. I might not like you, but you know what? I will always respect your family. If I see your family, I will only be respectful and nice to them because you know what? Your family has nothing to do with this. We're guys in our 30s and 40s playing video games, man. And, and this is where it's kind of getting to. So they declined that one. Okay, I thought that's the end of it. You know, I've, I've fired, filed my counters with YouTube. It's with YouTube. It's up to them to take me to court. If I have to go to court, that's fine. One of my subscribers is actually a lawyer in the USA. He said he'd, he'd take the case pro bono for me if it ever comes to court and I need representation in the USA. Um, you know, there's no merit to these strikes. So he says, look, not an issue. Um, also got some family in law over here. So I'm not really too fussed about that. You know, if if that happens, it happens. But again, guys, just the fact that, you know, they're saying that I'm inciting violence, never done that, right? They've, they've accused me of unauthorized distribution. I've only ever distributed what is free by providing a direct download link. Uh, they were just upset that... Um, that it wasn't kind of highlighting their Patreon so they could get the money. They obviously get really upset as well when I say they use other developers' uh, framework in order to get their work going, which is a fact. So stuff like this upset them, and the only way they know to get to me is by coming after my channel in, well, just an illegal manner, just completely lying. So anyway, like... Earlier on today, this morning, I woke up and I've got another copyright strike. The copyright strike is for an interview I done with one of the individuals from this organization. Now, to point out that the, the video, the, the video interview was done at their request. I didn't ask them for an interview. They asked me to appear on my channel. When they appeared on my channel, I did the interview and I did a thumbnail. And uh, so they hit me with a copyright strike saying I used their image on the thumbnail without their permission. But what's really funny is I, I went back through a Twitter com, uh, Twitter DMs. I actually DM'd the person on Twitter and I showed them the thumbnail and I said, look, like, are you happy with this thumbnail? If you're not, I can change it. This is the image I use based on stuff that I found online. And they said, yeah, they, they like it. And they thanked me for doing the interview. So naturally I've passed that onto YouTube. It's such an open shut case. Even a blind person could see that the person saying that they didn't give me or they didn't authorize approval for an image on an avatar they actually did because there's there's a message, a DM that is just approving that. So guys, um, all I can say is really, really pity, petty, petty. I'm trying to be very, very good with this. So when, when I was doing this video, because my wife watches the channel sometimes, I actually had to tell her that, um, you know, you've been implied in a court case and my wife, like, she just lost, she lost the plot. She completely broke down. She said, who are these psychos online and why are they after you? Why are they after me? Like, you play video games. You you stay in your room and, and you play video games. Like, you don't even, you don't even play online with people. Um, you, you literally just stay in that corner of the room playing video games and making videos. Why are these guys coming after you? Or why are they coming after me? Why are they coming after the kids? You know, what have we done? And, and she went hysterical. And I was like, look, don't worry about it. Nothing will come of it. These guys are threatening stuff. I don't think, but honestly, after seeing my wife's reaction, I don't know because I, I wanted to keep it from her, but we don't really keep secrets with stuff. Like sometimes I may not mention something to her, but if I'm doing a video addressing it and she watches my channel sometimes, I don't want her to come across it and find out or to find out from one another member of the family she speaks to that says, oh, by the way, how come you're involved in this? Members of my family watch my videos. Some of them are into gaming and they talk. Pillow talk, whatever, you know, they talk. So it gets around. My cousin might watch it. He'll tell his wife. The wife will tell my wife. It just all gets around. So she was really spooked out by this because I felt like a line was crossed here. So a second fake copyright strike. Guys, you know, if you want to know more about it, it's all over social. Uh, all the evidence is there. It is just absolutely terrible. Now, if there's a way of ending this peacefully without me signing away my life and without signing away that I will not cover anything negative and only punch you in a positive light, you know, I'm only willing to post them in the light that they put out. If they put out something positive, I've got plenty of positive stuff about them as well on the channel. All of it's made private now, so it's not available. But there's plenty of positive stuff about the work they've done. They just don't like anything negative that they do being highlighted, whether that's attacking other rival projects, it's attacking other people, whether it's just overall bad behavior, uh, whether it's just attacking other people in the scene. They hate that side being covered. So, you know, the agreement that we had before was I won't nitpick them on certain names, but I'm 
picking out what they are doing, which is just covering the news. Anyway, guys, I've gone for a bit. I wasn't ex expecting it to be like 15 minutes long, but I've ranted on for that long. So yeah, guys, this is the current kind of situation with uh, what is going on. So um, like I said, I've tried to deal with it. I even tried earlier on dealing with it on Twitter uh, with one of the team's representatives. And, and they said, oh, you know, I said, what do you think about these fake copyright strikes where the thumbnail permission was granted? Here's a screenshot of a Twitter DM saying permission granted. And the, the the answer I got was they can be revoked. So it's almost like, yeah, we will revoke them if you bend to our will. If not, we'll just keep the fake strikes going. So let me know what you guys think about it. You know, whether you think I'm in the right, whether I'm in the wrong. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not perfect. And I, I know it sometimes I can be a complete a-hole, right? But at least on this side, fake copyright strikes, man. That's just, that's just next level. Anyway, guys, be awesome to one another. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.